The Middle East is home to some of the world's most outrageous and extravagant infrastructures. From the building touching the sky to the underwater hotels, the Middle East has it all to offer. And currently, another ambitious project is under construction in the Gulf, a project so expensive and pioneering that it will be the only one of its kind after its completion. We're talking about a $100 billion railway construction in the desert that will stretch to 2,000 kilometers and is being constructed with the partnership of six wealthy Gulf countries. This project aims to unite the region more sufficiently and help shape their economies in a better way. But with the harsh desert environment, tricky construction site, and not to mention an exclusive price tag, this project has its own challenges that it has to surpass. Before discussing this project in detail, to understand its significance for its creators, we need to know why it's being built in the first place. Let's start the video. GCC explained. It all started in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The year is February 1981, and the leaders of the Middle East's six wealthiest countries, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Oman, Qatar, Qatar, and Bahrain, have come together to form an alliance. This alliance would focus on strengthening the political and economic relationships between these Gulf states, and hence the Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC, was formed. Since the 80s, the Gulf countries have relied heavily on oil. These countries have made much money by selling gas and oil, and everything seemed to work perfectly until 2008. The world witnessed the Great Recession. Businesses all around the globe took a hit, and so did the GCC's economy. It was when the leaders of the Gulf states realized that complete reliance on the oil and gas business would not be a clever way of moving forward, and the idea of railway in the desert was proposed. Railway in the Desert In 2009, the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, approved this ambitious railway project which will connect the six members of the GCC through a railway system. The estimated cost of this mega project is around $100 to $250 billion, and the six member countries would equally manage the expenses. The railway would connect these Gulf countries' ports with the manufacturing hubs and urban centers. It will unite the Gulf in an entirely new way, transforming its transportation sector and pushing the Middle East into a new era of economic evolution. The Role of Etihad Railway The Etihad Railway, the developer and operation of the United Arab Emirates National Railway System, has a crucial role in the project. The company is responsible for constructing the 1,200-kilometer cargo and passenger railway system, which stretches across the Emirates from Oman to the Persian Gulf and was completed at $11 billion. The construction of the Emirates railway system has been divided into two parts. Part 1. The first part was completed back in 2016. It stretches from the Habshan and Shah areas in Abu Dhabi to the port of Ruwais, covering a total area of 264 kilometers. Along with the railway track, Etihad Railway also constructed 20 overbridges, 10 road underpasses, 2 overbridges, and 18 underpasses to be utilized in the future. Etihad Railway also constructed two factories to build concrete railway sleepers, which are used to form the base of the tracks. The company decided to manufacture it from local raw materials. The railway sleepers are attached to the main rails with the help of a fastening system. They stabilize the track and ensure the train's smoothness while traveling 200 kilometers. However, the first route is not open for passengers. Instead, it's being used to carry 22,000 tons of granulated sulfur across 110 wagons daily. This element comes from Abu Dhabi's oil fields and is exported to the port of Ruwais, where it's used in the production of batteries, fertilizers, and much more. Since its completion, Etihad Railways has exported over 30 million tons of granulated sulfur. As per the company, the single train journey reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 70 to 80 percent, which is crucial for an economy with one of the world's highest carbon footprints. Also, courtesy of this railway system, Emirates has become the world's biggest sulfur exporter. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. 
Part 2. In 2020, the construction of the second stage also began, which is responsible for extending the railway network to 605 kilometers. It'll stretch from the Guwefat on the border with Saudi Arabia to Fujairah on the east coast. South Korea's SK Engineering and Construction and China State Construction Engineering Corporation have been awarded $408.4 million to design and construct the 139-kilometer railway track. It will be connected with the UAE's major industrial ports and trading centers upon its completion, allowing the Gulf state to transport 50 million tons of goods yearly. Gulf countries like Saudi Arabia and the UAE don't only have huge oil reserves, but also have other natural resources like iron ore, gold, and aluminum, and have a solid railway infrastructure to help these nations to utilize those assets as well. Harsh and challenging working conditions A construction site in the middle of a desert is not an ideal place to work. The scorching heat in the middle of the day is highly harmful to the labor's health and can cause irregular work schedules because of health concerns. To tackle this issue, some construction sites operate at night when the temperature drops to 30 degrees Celsius. Besides the hot temperature, building something over sand is also very challenging. But luckily, Etihad has learned from the experiences of other nations like China, Saudi Arabia, and Mauritania about how to build on sand. These countries figured out how to transform the dunes into clay, analyzing the dunes shit and planting walls of vegetation to block the sand and wind. Political Differences Despite being a member of the GCC, Qatar was briefly blocked from the alliance by other Gulf nations due to some political differences, leaving a question mark on Qatar's role in this mega project. However, its block was over in 2021. The recent pandemic also had its effects on this project. The fluctuation of oil prices had caused logistical delays and pushed the completion date by years. This mega project is an ambitious attempt of Gulf nations to diversify their economy and move toward a more sustainable future. Etihad is yet to give an accurate estimated date for the completion of this project. Still, once completed, it will play a significant role in fulfilling the vision of Gulf leaders. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Do you think the governments would be able to sell this idea to the public of these wealthy nations because, according to a recent survey, only 13% of the general public uses public transportation? Let us know your views in the comment section below. If you learned something new today, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Madewell Finder so that we can keep making such fantastic videos for you. Thank you for watching.